there. How are you feeling today? We're going to do a walkthrough of my ultimate Google Workspace game inspired by Escape Rooms. If you haven't played the game yet, click on the link in the description and give it a go. In this video, we're going to take a look at all the clues, all the questions and tricks needed to complete the game. Let's have a look. Okay, let's play. So, first thing to do, uh, type in our email address. Very important not to make any mistakes, uh, especially in this first part. We can watch the, the intro. Ready, steady, go. And when we submit the form, we get a link to the form to the actual game. Uh, click on that. Again, uh, we need to uh, type in our email address with no mistakes. Name, this is just for... Um, if you want to be published on our leaderboard, you can write name, nickname, uh, social media, handles, whatever. Uh, if you don't want your info to be published, then just leave it blank. And then we start. So, slides. Um, make a copy. Click on the link. And so it says, how many text boxes are there on the first slide? Well... Uh, apparently, it doesn't look like there's any. We can just grab all of the like that. <clears throat> we can see there's 22. Count them up. What is the theme? Well, come here. There's a menu here. The theme. If we click to change it, we can compare the slides theme. We see it's that it's material. Careful with capital letters, spaces, etc. What's the layout of the third slide? We'll come over here get the third slide we can click on layout and again we compare title only do you think the speaker left any notes have a look no 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 and on the fourth slide yes copy that paste it in next drive you have something shared with you. When was it created? So we can go to drive.google.com and go into shared with me. And when you see it, hello world, you can click on it, check out the details. When was it created? That would be this date here. So we can copy that, come over to the form. Paste it in, go back to drive, open the folder. What type of file is in the folder? We leave our mouse just hovering, Google My Maps. Google My Maps, you might also be able to get that just by looking at the, at the icon. What permission do you have over the folder? Well, we have to investigate a little bit here. Um, you'll have to, we can see that you can't move it, can't rename it, and if we try to share it, um, we'll see that uh, we need to ask to share. And this is because we have permission only to view or viewer. What is the folder's ID? Folder's ID is not the entire URL. It's just this last part after that last backslash. Copy that, paste that back in. Okay, room docs, Google Docs. Click on the link, make a copy, and start. Um, so sometimes you need to think inside the box. We're having an image here, Let's see what's going on in the docs. Uh, something has to do with this, it looks empty, but if we click inside, we'll see that there are some letters. Uh, they're just You can change the color and see what that's in there. Moonshot. The answer would be moonshot. Hello world with style. So we click over here. Heading three. The style. Remember, spaces, capital letters, etc. What is the font of the text about origami? Click here, font, 
Roboto. Watch the video until the end. Now, this one's a little bit uh, tricky. It actually has nothing to do with the content of the video. You won't see anything uh, there. Um, nothing to be seen in the video. Uh, it's actually, it actually just has to do with the length, the end of the video, the length of the video, 231. Um, and that's drive, drawings, Google drawings. And as we move along through the game, we can kind of close out some of these, some of these tabs. So, um, how many triangles are there? Oh, uh, we'll have to investigate a little bit. All right, moving them around. One, two, three, four and five triangles. Y-axis position, rip the red circle, click on the red circle, format options, position, we see that it's zero. Page width in pixels, come over here to file, page setup, change from inches, centimeters, whatever you got to pixels, 1256. You can copy that or just type it in. 1256 and the rectangles hex color. So click on that, leave our mouse hovering over and it'll give us that hex color, FFDF7F. So hashtag FFDF7F. Google slide uh, sheets. Uh, so let's see here. Mm, average of second term marks to two decimal points. So as we can see, we've got uh, some space here in the column G, and we'll do an average, and then we'll just select all the second term marks. Close that parentheses, enter, and we get the average there. We'll have to bring it back to just two decimal points, 6.94. 6.94. Number of uh, fourth year students who suspended in the third term. Uh, so again, a little space here. And this is done with count ifs with an S because there's going to be multiple conditions. First condition is third term marks. So we'll select all of those. And those should be less than five. Uh, that hint is given in the right, suspended students are those with mark under five. And then uh, the grade level. So we'll sec select all the information here in column B, and that should be equal to fourth. Close that, we get six. A little bit easier to do it with the, the formula. You could just manually count them, but want to put your, your skills to the test here. V239, V, 2356789 looks blank but if we look at the content of the cell right up here we'll see that it's hello world hello world dot chart type click on chart if we click on you might know this this uh, chart type off the top of your head but if not you can edit the chart radar chart radar chart and that's the sheets room. Um, room calendar. You have a date for April 20th. So you go to calendar.google.com. Uh, over here to April 20th. Hello world, what do you know? Click on that. Uh, what day of the week is the event? That would be Tuesday. The meet link, right here, just copy that, paste it in. On what calendar was this created? That calendar is right down here, the corner of my, my video, 
uh, is covering up the actual icon. Just paste that in there. For some reason it double pastes. Just make sure that it's one there. And then it feels great to know that you've, now this is just kind of a little, uh, uh, an attached document there that you finished. Um, and then kind of just wanted to give a little clue as to what maybe that, uh, that hint was or the question was back in the, with the Google Documents room. So this would be finished. And that is it. We are finished. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game, found it interesting. Uh, I'll be making more games with other uh, Google tools, so stay tuned. And we'll see you in the next one.